Welcome back to Sabbath Day Singing Time. Look at all these gifts. I have so many gifts. We're going to get to these gifts in just a minute. What we're going to start with today is learning another new song. Can you even believe it? So last week we learned Teach Me to Walk in the Light. This week we are going to learn Search, Ponder, and Pray. You guys can do it. You're so good at this. So we're going to do what we usually do. I'm going to sing through it one time. And you guys are going to sing it with me right after that. So if you want to listen the first time you can, or if you want to try and join me. So two times right in a row, the first verse of Search, Ponder, and Pray. I love to read the Holy Scriptures, and every time I do... scriptures. This is our last, our last chapter of the Book of Mormon. Have you loved reading the Book of Mormon this week, this year? I've loved it. I love to read the Holy Scriptures. And it's been so fun getting to know all of these Book of Mormon heroes and the different stories that we learn from the Book of Mormon. Do you remember that our prophet, he loves the Book of Mormon and he challenges us to spend time in the Book of Mormon every single day. Okay, let's get to the lesson this week, Moroni 10, the very last chapter in the Book of Mormon. And in Moroni 10, he talks about gifts. How appropriate, right? It is Christmas this week. I am so excited. And we get gifts, right? So we're going to talk about the gifts that Moroni talks about. Are you ready for this? So Moroni talks about some gifts. He says, these are the gifts of God. For they are many, and they come from the same God, and they come unto every man severally according as he will. And I love this verse. And I would exhort you, my beloved brethren, that you remember that every good gift cometh of Christ. Every good gift is from Christ. So Moroni is talking about spiritual gifts. Do you know what spiritual gifts are? They are talents that you have, or attributes, or part of your personality or things that you've worked on, or prayed for, or asked for. I'm going to tell you just a couple of the gifts that he talks about. He talks about the gift of teaching the word of wisdom, the gift of teaching the word of knowledge, the gift of having great faith. Did you know that having great faith is a gift? That's awesome, huh? The gift of healing, the gift of miracles, the gift of prophecy, and the gift of tongues, the gift of beholding of angels and ministering of spirits, and the gift of interpreting languages. There are so many gifts that he's given us. You know what? I think one of the gifts that I've been given is the gift to be happy. It's pretty easy for me to be happy. And when I get sad, it's pretty easy for me to get myself out of that and get happy again. And I think that's a gift I got from Heavenly Father. We're going to open some real gifts and there'll be something inside for what we get to sing today. Is that great? And at the end, we'll do um, search, ponder, and pray again. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just take this first gift. What could be inside? <gasps> you guys, this is great. Do you remember this? It's our little brass plates, right? Or golden plates. Look at this. And it's a box. It can hold things inside. So neat, huh? So guess what? We are gonna sing Book of Mormon stories because that's what we've learned this year, right? We have learned so many things from the people who came before us. And this is what Moroni says about this. In verse three of chapter 10, he says, Behold, I would exhort you that when you shall read these things, if it be wisdom in God that you should read them, that you would remember how merciful the Lord has been unto the children of men. Right? The mercy that he showed to Nephi, to Lehi, to Alma, to Amulek, to Moroni, to Mormon, all of the different people in the Book of Mormon. Abinadi, there's so many Book of Mormon heroes. Let's sing verses 1, 2, and 8. Remember that we say Lamanites like this. This is the American Sign Language for Lamanites, okay? So Book of Mormon stories that my teacher tells to me are about the Lamanites in ancient history. And then the eighth verse is about Jesus Christ. Ready? Let's do it. Get out your Book of Mormon. above all the other ones is because isn't that the greatest gift we were given? It was that Jesus was born, right? And that he lived on the earth and he performed his mighty miracles and he atoned for us and died for us and he was resurrected. That is the greatest gift. Okay, ready for our next gift? I'm just gonna go in order here. What do we got? Hmm. Okay. What is that? Looks like a chisel and a hammer. They're made out of wood. Do you know what these tools remind me of? They remind me of carpenter tools. Do you guys know who was a carpenter? Think about the Christmas story. Joseph. Jesus' earthly father, Joseph. He was a carpenter. Do you wanna hear something really cool about Joseph? So Joseph was a carpenter. He worked with tools and stuff. I have a grandpa whose name was Joseph. He passed away last year. His name was Joseph and guess what? He was a carpenter. Is that amazing? Every time I hear the Christmas story, I think of him because he was also a carpenter. His name was Joseph. He worked with wood. I actually want to show you something really quick. This is something he made. He made one for every member of my family. Look at this step stool. And he even carved our name in there. It says Katie Lee. I'm Sister Johnson, but my first name is Katie. So he made this for each of us in our family. So now, whenever I need to reach something up high, Grandpa gives me a little boost. And I love it. So we're going to sing a Christmas song now. We're going to go back and forth between the lesson and some Christmas music. We're going to sing When Joseph Went to Bethlehem. And I have a couple of words to help you out with some pictures as well.
Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's open another gift. What could it be? I got a tricky on this one. It was too big to fit in here. So I hid it behind. Oh! What? Do you guys remember this? What is this? This is our iron rod, right? So we are going to sing the iron rod. Let me hurry and read this to you. So this is the end of Moroni speaking, right? And he is about to bury the plates. He's about to bury the plates. Isn't that amazing? So he says, and after I seal up these records, oh, and I seal up these records after I've spoken a few words by way of exhortation to you. So he says, after I finish talking to you guys for a minute, I'm going to seal these up and hide them in the earth. And when's the next time we see them again? Joseph Smith, right? Another Joseph. He uncovers the plates, right? Moroni, the same Moroni that's going to bury the plates is the same Moroni who is going to appear to Joseph. And he's going to get them out of the earth. And we're going to get the Book of Mormon because of that. So we are going to sing the Iron Rod because it's the Word of God. Ready? Doctrine and Covenants. We start reading the things that happen after Joseph unburies these plates. So it goes right together, right? This is Moroni burying them, and in two weeks we get to talk about Joseph getting them. So great. Okay, ready for another one? Actually, let's let's open this gift. Should we open this gift over here? Let's do it. What is it? This ornament goes to my tree. It's a very special ornament. My brother and sister-in-law made this ornament for me. This is so beautiful. They're able to make things out of wood. See that star in the stable? We're going to sing Picture a Christmas. Picture a stable in Judea. Picture a sacred silent night. Okay. Grab the words for you. We've got our little picture prompts here. Picture a stable in Judea, picture a sacred silent night, and can you hear the angels near and see the stars so bright? Picture the little baby Jesus, think of his life. two Christmas songs and two regular songs. Next week, we are just singing Christmas songs. Is that going to be so fun? I know it'll be two days after Christmas, but the lesson we get to learn for Come Follow Me next week is the Christmas story. So next week is going to be Christmas for singing time again. We're going to sing Christmas the whole time. Okay. Okay. And I love that. So take one more good look at that ornament. So pretty, right? This is the greatest gift we were given. I mean, it's cool to get presents under the Christmas tree, right? There's a lot of things that I want. I want some new gloves. Um, I want some fingernail polish. 
I would love to get some shelves built in one of my closets. Those are all great gifts that I would love to get. But I have to stop sometimes and remember, Jesus is the greatest gift. Having the gospel on the earth is one of my greatest gifts. Being surrounded by family that I love, that's a beautiful gift. And the gifts that are given to us, like I said, are personalities, the things we've been given. I want you to take some time today and tell each one of your family members what you think their greatest gift is. What's their greatest attribute? Do they have a good sense of humor? Are they good at being friends to other people? Are they good snugglers? Are they a good singer? And then I want you to think of what your favorite gift that God has given you is. And have your family members tell you what your gifts are from God. We are going to end by singing Search, Ponder, and Pray again, okay? We're going to sing through it two times, just like we did at the beginning, so that we're getting used to it, okay? And we'll probably use this song a lot next year. Let's get it going. <clears throat> joining me today for singing time. I want you to know that one of my greatest gifts is being able to do singing time with you guys. It has been such a blessing in my life and I have felt your spirits even though I can't be with you in person. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week for a very Christmas singing time. <laughs>